The establishment of the Criminal Cases Review Commission is arguably New Zealand's most significant structural change in criminal justice since the advent of the Supreme Court. One person who knows as much about that as anybody is Professor Elizabeth MacDonald from the Law School and a member of our criminal justice team. Elizabeth, um, thanks so much for speaking to me today. In a nutshell, what is a Criminal Cases Review Commission? Kia ora, Jared. Our Criminal Cases Review Commission has been set up very similar in terms of aim and output to the ones that exist overseas to allow people to make applications on the grounds that they think there has been a miscarriage of justice in their case. So people who've been convicted and sentenced for offences and have usually been through the appeal processes available to them can then apply to the Commission and ask for another review of their case. The New Zealand criminal justice system has a presumption of innocence, um, it has a court of appeal, it has a Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Do we need a Criminal Cases Review Commission? Well, that doesn't protect um, people from possible miscarriages of justice. And we know there has been some, <laughs> including probably most recently and most um, in the public attention is Taina Porter. And that was a case that had gone through our system and also, in fact, to the Privy Council in England, which no longer exists for people convicted after a certain time. So how did it come about? How did we, how did we get here? Well, I think it's been talked about in New Zealand for a while. I, uh, I think Sir uh, Justice Thomas Thorpe um, did particularly look at the possibility, at least by the early 2000s, and most recently, of course, was an election promise under the Labour government to set one up in their first term of office, um, which has been achieved. The court system now is notoriously difficult to navigate, and, mm. for, for, and even when people are in it, to understand what's going mm. on. So mm. what elements perhaps did you put in place um, to make sure that it was nice and easy to use? Mm. Okay, so in terms of sort of transparency and accessibility, there's an undertaking that once you make an application, it will be reviewed and you'll hear if it's been accepted quite early on. Then the next question is, well, when do the, does the Commission engage and what does that look like? And the idea is, well, the aim is to do that as much as possible in person and get a real sense of the applicant if they have any particular needs in terms of how they will engage, right. like if they have... Um, so not simply by forms? Not simply by forms. Um, and I think, and also the, 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 the idea is that the whānau and, and people's support would be engaged as part of that process as well. So much more a sense of, of you know, the whole person and their support networks coming into the process yep. at a much earlier stage. Often forgotten in the criminal justice system generally as victims. Victims finding out that the person who was convicted of offending against them or their family in the case of a homicide um, are likely to be quite distressed to hear that this person has made an application to the Criminal Cases Review to Commission. So in order to avoid re-traumatisation when it's not necessary, the idea was that the victim should be notified once the decision to move to an investigation is made because it might be quite difficult for the Commission when undertaking the investigation for it not to come out. Yes. Um, how significant do you think this development is for New Zealand's justice system? Well, significant in a range of ways. It does provide a much more robust process than the Royal Prerogative of Mercy has been. Uh, more accessible, more transparent. Really important, I think, to give a message that even if you've been through the appeal process, if you still feel as an applicant, as a, as a person who's been convicted, that something went wrong, there's, there's another person to turn to, there's another body who is there who will be independent, although funded by the Ministry, independent from the Ministry, who can have another look at your case. Yeah, and there have been so many cases in New Zealand where that would have been incredibly desirable, and so let's hope it saves, um, you know, saves people going through such a terrible process or spending so long in prison when egregious cases do occur. Indeed.